This is Tom Loy with Blue and Gold Illustrated here with West Bloomfield St. Mary's four-star outside linebacker Dalen Hayes. Dalen, we're in Detroit here, man. Talk about the Sound Mind, Sound Body Camp. Sound Mind, Sound Body. Long camp. Been here all day. Tired as I don't know what. But it was all in all a good experience. Got to get college, uh, college exposure and college coaching. Getting ready, you know, to, uh, for the next level. Taking the coaching from uh, criticism and co coaching from, you know, higher level coaches. You know, like they say, every every level you go up, you learn something new. So you know, being a high school and having a college coaching, you definitely get you know the upper advantage here at Sound Mind, Sound Body, getting that you know exposure and little things that can you know take you to the next level. So you know that that's pretty much the biggest thing. And, you know, of course, if you were here early with the guest speakers, um, you know, just life lessons. You know, they Sound Mind, Sound Body for a reason. Sound Mind first. You, know, you got to be right up here before you can go out and perform on the field. So you know, definitely Sound Mind, Sound Body has been a great, great day, great experience, and I look forward to it being day two. Good stuff, man. Um, talk about your recruitment a little bit. Man, who are some of the schools coming after you pretty hard right now? Um, schools that have offered me so far: Michigan, Michigan State, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Tennessee, Ohio State, and Penn State. Um, all those schools, you know, they're all here. Actually, I've, all, I've talked to all of them. Uh, great schools, great programs, great tradition. Um, you know, and they're all big school, big team. Uh, they all promote education first, and you know, the team philosophy second. So, I definitely appreciate that, and I look forward to you know recruiting down the road. You know, my junior and senior. Year. Are there any schools that haven't offered yet that you're really waiting for one? Notre yet? Dame and. Stanford. Okay, Notre high Dame academic Stanford. schools, man. What do you, what do you like about Notre Dame? Uh, Notre Dame specifically, just the connections, how it will set you up for life, and how they run the same type of defense that I feel the most comfortable in. I feel as if, you know, as a linebacker, I can be. I'm very athletic, and I fit into a three-four defense like a Jalen Smith type uh, player. Uh, we both play the same position, same speed, same height, same weight. Uh, you know, I just, you know, great tradition. Um, you know, of course, education speaks for itself, and um, you know, just go Irish. You, know? you you were up there last year for a game, if I remember correctly, right? Yep, November. Okay, maybe BYU. Do you remember what it was? Uh, yep, it was okay. BYU. Yep. Um, talk about the game day experience, man. How was it up there? Cold, <laughs> very cold. Uh, no, all jokes aside, it was a great game. Got to see some of my favorite players go in action. Um, you know, spent most of it in the bathroom because you know it did it, it did end up uh, snowing that day, but. Um, you know, then they had the marshmallow, oh, yeah. the marshmallows yep. and all that. But it was it was definitely a great time. I got to get to see the school. I didn't get to see the campus as much, you know, because it was a game. That's why I'm going to try and get down this weekend and see the coaches and talk with everyone and uh, get to know the coaches, become more personable with the coaches. So you're going to be in South Bend this weekend or next week? Uh, I'm going to try my aim for the next week or this week. If not, then I'll try next week. Okay. And then Stanford a little bit, man. Talk about that school. A little bit. Why, why are they appealing to you? Stanford, because it's... Stanford, Ivy I, I League, aren't they? If I'm not mistaken, uh, Ivy League, of the, Ivy League of the West. Right, Ivy League <laughs> of the West. So you know, I feel as if a degree from Stanford, Notre Dame, Michigan, those schools, etc. Those, those are the schools that have set you up for life. You know, if football doesn't work out like we talked earlier. We talked earlier, 1.8% of all college athletes will make it to the league. And you know, we all know that 1.8% is, you know, not a big number. So you know, we have to have something to fall back on. We have to have an education to fall back on. We have to, you know, prepare ourselves for, you know, not only the football field but for life. You know, life after football. So you know, that's the biggest thing, and that's the most appealing thing. And on top of that, they're in California. You know, no place like California. So uh, you know, definitely love Stanford. Even though I have not received an offer from them, I'm looking for optimistic about the future. So you're about 6'3", 220 plus. For the guys, that, the, the big recruiting fans that haven't seen your film, kind of break down your film a little bit. Um, some of your better areas. Um, my film isn't much. It's, I didn't play that much. I was mostly a line uh, running back. Not a lot of linebacker film, but you know. What are some of your I mean, strengths though on defense? That, that, oh, oh. That you bring to the table. I mean, I, I mean, as far as my film goes, I'm a whole different player from when you know that film. I was 6'1", 185. I'm 6'3", 225 now. Um, my speed, speed. I'm athletic. You know, and when it's all said and done, everyone will know me as the most athletic person on the field at all times. So that's that's the biggest thing that you know. For me, as far as, uh, okay, and you got a uh, you got obviously a Notre Dame visit coming up. What else is what else is coming up for you visit wise? Uh, Ohio State. When's that? Um, Ohio State is going to either be by the, at the end of this the end of this month or the beginning of July. Do you have a leader at this point? I do not. I no. Do not have anything. And what's your enjoying the process? Okay. And what's your thought on uh, making a final decision? When would you like to narrow things down? Uh, I'm probably going to narrow things down around the uh, the summer going into my senior year. Okay. So yeah. And do you plan on do you plan on taking all your official visits? I do. And then making a decision probably after that? Definitely. 